I totally wasn't looking at buff men doing push-ups for the last, like, ten minutes. That wasn't a lie. I actually had to restart my computer immediately after recording the last episode because it froze! Hello, everyone! I'm the Mighty Blues, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles! Last time, we started over our adventure. We fought in a war! Got our asses kicked! Now we're playing as a completely different boy! And now we are about to continue the plot after running around this entire map and accepting quests and doing other things. And now we're going to continue the, the plot. I don't know what else to say. Oh, hello. Character I wish to speak to. Damn, that's crazy. Oh! What? You? Wait, hold on. Wait, you two? Hello. I didn't even know you two come down here! Wow, I actually had no idea these characters were here at this time. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. How's it going? Eric, since when were you over here? I am learning so much about this game, and I have played this game like a bajillion times. Obviously, that's an exaggeration. I've played this game, uh, maybe, like, this might be like my fifth playthrough of this game. I actually don't know entirely. I play this game a lot. Don't worry about it. You know what? Screw it. My completionist mind is getting the best of me. Uh, I'm gonna go around and accept quests. Except, and then, and then, and then, then we'll continue plot. Don't worry about it. You, sir! Hi. You have a quest! Hi there! Give me a quest! Thank you! You're not named, so you're not important. You! I actually want to talk to you because you're named! And I have the right character to accept this quest! In fact, Desiree has an entire quest line that you need Shulk in order to accept. Yes, some named NPCs will not allow you to talk to them unless you have a specific character as your party leader. Oh, Shulk, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've broken my watch. Look, it's in pieces. I'm terrible with machines, even little ones like this. Would you mind fixing them for me? You don't have to be good with machines to be careful with them. You just have to be careful. Wasn't your father good with the machines? I'd have thought fixing things would be the first thing he'd teach you. HA! Clearly you don't know a thing or two about father, Shulk! Not just good, he was amazing. When I was little, I used to marvel at how he swung that hammer. But he's gone now. And as hard as I try, I can't be like how, how I can't be like he was. I'm I'm sorry, Desiree. I didn't mean to be rude. Oh, it's so easy to make you go all timid. Seriously, don't worry about it. It's been a year since then. Back on my feet. Anyway, are you going to fix my watch or not? Yes, we will fix it. I will leave it cap I will leave it in your capable hands. It's in pretty bad shape. I'll have to use the equipment in the lab, so it might take a while. Ah, right, cool. We'll do that at a later point. Is there an NPC down here? Oh, there is. Hello. Miller! I don't remember you being down there. I remember you being somewhere else. You are not important! But you have a quest, so I will talk to you. Also, can I just say how much I love the nighttime music in this game? God, this game is so good of music. Which actually, you know what? While we're running around accepting quests, I want to talk about something. Because for the life of me, I just, I don't understand. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, look what we already collected. Look at that! We already completed the quest. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, one of the things I want to talk about. I actually want to talk about Colony 9's theme. Specifically the daytime theme. I love when we're talking about the daytime theme, even though the nighttime theme is playing. Don't worry about it, I totally plan these things. Is it just me? 
Or does it not at all sound like Twilight Town? I specifically bring that up because every person I talk to who has played Xenoblade Chronicles as well as Kingdom Hearts 2 says that Colony 9's theme just sounds like Twilight Town. And while I can understand why some people see it that way, because yes, that is the same composer, Yoko Shimomura, who is the composer for the Kingdom Hearts series, also composed some of the music for Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, not trying to spoil themes we have already listened to, but songs that we have listened to. Yoko has com specifically composed the theme song for the game. I believe she also composed the music for Prologue A and B, which were the songs that played during the opening cutscenes. She also play uh, composed the music for the battle theme, as well as Colony 9. I just don't hear it though. And I have played Kingdom Hearts 2. I have. I've actually beaten Kingdom Hearts 2. I may not be the biggest Kingdom Hearts fan, but I have played it. Good day. And I just don't hear it. I really don't. I don't know why people say they sound like exactly the same. I have actually heard that. In fact, my best friend says all the time they're just like oh yeah colony 9 sounds exactly like twilight town and i'm like no it doesn't i don't know am i just crazy i feel like i'm just crazy because i do not hear it all right last quest that i want to accept you you are not named so you're no oh you have multiple quests hello excuse me sir i would like to accept that excuse me sir i would like to accept that Okay, cool. Okay, thanks, bye. Actually, hold on. Did I? Damn it. I was really hoping that there was, like, a fast travel point right in front of the lab. Because otherwise I would have used it. And yes, I know. I'm crazy. I use fast travel points as often as possible. Oh, no, Eric. I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to Monica. Hi there. Only Monica. Ooh, reputation change. Hell yeah, dude. Yes, talking to NPCs will actually change your uh, affinity with a locale. So talk to characters often. Alright, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> Your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power... Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk.
It was the Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. Oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dunban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. I want to admit something. I have never seen these cutscenes at night. Like, never. This is so interesting seeing this entire scene at night. This is so funny. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. God, this is so funny. This is so funny. Yeah, we're just gonna take Shulk a midnight snack. Don't worry about it. He'll be okay. It's fine. Uh, but actually, what I want to do is I do want to change the time. I want to change it back today. Because remember that old grandma that I said I was going to ignore? I'm not gonna ignore, ignore her anymore. Because Fiora is the character that is unique dialogue for this side quest. Dear me, my grandsons are having quite the altercation. And now to get the upper hand, they're both, they're both in training. That is a worry. 
Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. Wow! Wow, I feel this. I feel like... I feel like my own family would say this. It is my flesh and blood, after all. That's why I love someone to take him the biscuits I've made. I might encourage him to train harder. Why do you want the younger one to win? They're both family. Oh, that's right, Fiora. You wouldn't know. You're a decent human being. Anyway, that's our business. I shouldn't have said anything. In any case, would you mind helping me with this? The only thing I'm gonna do is throw these biscuits back in your face, Grandma! I'll make you some biscuits. Don't eat them, please. Make sure my grandson gets those biscuits. All of them, preferably. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's so good. But yeah, that's the one thing that I didn't want to accept. Now, while we're on our way to progress through the story, which is actually what we are going to be doing, I want to talk about something. So... Every single side quest, or not every single side quest, every single piece of uh, cutscenes, you can actually change the time of day whenever you want, uh, which is actually really cool because what you can do is on the title screen you can go to the, you can go to the event theater. You can actually rewatch every single cutscene in whatever time of day you want with like whatever piece of equipment you want. It's actually really cool. With that said, I'm not going to try to prioritize uh, cutscenes based on time of day. I'm not, because I don't really care. It's actually kind of fun seeing specific pieces of, uh, of cutscenes in a time of day that I've never seen before. I actually find that stuff really, really cool. So if you're someone who's like, oh man, I wish you would have watched this cutscene at this time of day, cry about it. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna cry about this because we completed the side quest. Look at that. I did something. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power... Shulk! Fiora! Mm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this always. Huh? The debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. <sighs> there might be more on the way. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. Wow, we have more than one party member! 
over now. And we completed a side quest. Good job, us! Now that we have more party members, we can actually use quick time events to initiate affinity cries. Characters that can shout out an affinity cry to another party member to encourage or assist them depending on how the battle is going for them. This is actually very helpful. You want to do this as often as you can because it will help with tension. We'll get into that once we get into combat. Now we can also do affinity uh, heart to hearts. And we can also change the party. Yes, Shulk is not the mandatory party leader. You can have your party leader be whoever you want it to be. I'm actually going to stay as Fiora for a little bit. And speaking of Fiora. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> uh, let's actually look at our battle tactics for her. Fiora's talent art is Butterfly Step. My talent art is Butterfly Step. It's a four hit combo that does loads of damage. The talent gauge fills up when I auto attack. I'm here to do some damage. I sneak behind monsters and go in with a power smash. And with and your talent gates fills up really fast because your auto attack is so quick, right? What was your talent art again? Wow, Shulk. Can't even remember what your your girlfriend's special move is. Butterfly step. I've got to let it loose as soon as the talent gates fills up. Swoosh. But Fiora, if you do that, your aggro will shoot up. Save it for a final blow or when we really need it. Uh, also, affinity during, affinity during battle. When you start a fight, you will have a quick time event. Depending on how well you do the quick time event, that will determine how much tension you will start the fight with. The better the ten, the higher the tension, the better. Also, it's showing you the. You basically you want to get it within that light blue circle that's on the outer ring. You want to go for that. That'll give you the most. And we'll show that off a lot during this playthrough. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, heart to hearts! The heart to heart list. To access to heart to heart, the two people involved must be in your party. The affinity between them must be equal or higher than the necessary affinity level. Select the heart to heart, we'll add to the list. Which is actually what we're going to be doing right now. But before we do, I rarely show this off. I want to save my progress. I recommend doing this before every heart to heart. Speaking of which, let's do a heart to heart. So, sunrise in the park. Hey, Shulk. You remember that time we watched the sunrise right here? It was when we were quite young. Yeah, I remember we came because... So, one thing I want to bring up, and this is actually the reason why I say you should save your progress before doing any heart to hearts. Depending on the answers you give, this will either raise affinity or lower affinity. And if you want to maximize affinity between your party members, which, trust me, you do, uh, you want to get all the right answers. So, the correct answer will be you and Dunman. However, before I select this, I want to let everyone know. I will be showing off every heart-to-heart -heart dialogue option. And I'll show you how. But first, let's go over the right answers. You had a big falling out. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. It really had nothing to do with you. But I still dragged you out and made you stay up all night. I'm glad we did it, even though it was only that one time. We talked for hours and hours about all our hopes and dreams. And then you fell asleep on my arms as we looked up at the stars. That sounds so romantic. Oh no. What? What is it? Oh, Shulk. I have this terrible feeling I said something really embarrassing. Oh, like I wanted to get married. How is that embarrassing? You love him, girl. Um, Shulk, you don't you remember what I said back then? Kind of. I can't quite put my finger on it. Hold on. I know I'll get it. Uh, oh, uh, don't worry. And no need to remember. Uh, forgetting even brought it up. Anyway, that's the end of that conversation. Let's talk about something else. Okay, whatever you say, Fiora. Yes, I think I pulled it up. He doesn't suspect a thing. I hope he remembers one day. But for now... It's just a bit too embarrassing. You are both 18! Jesus, Fiora! 
good. Oh, the good job, Shulk. You got a level up out of that. Oh my god, that's amazing. All right. Well, what I want to do, I'm going to save my progress one last time, just because I actually want to go back to the title screen. Because upon completing a heart to heart, what you can do is you can actually go to the event theater. And you can review heart to hearts. You can even change character equipment. You can change what time of day the heart to hearts appear in. You can even change the weather. You can change a lot when it comes to the heart to hearts. And this isn't just exclusive to heart to hearts in the in the event theater. You can do this with any cutscene. It's so cool. The event theater is amazing. It really is. It's so good. So, why don't we redo this heart to heart and see all that additional dialogue, shall we? Alright. I invited you. You don't remember, do you? And since when have you ever invited me to do anything? Oh, uh, I could have sworn that was what happened. No, silly. I had a big fight with Dunban and ran out of the house. Oh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. If I'm remembering right, even I got shouted at. Yeah, Dunman was pretty angry, but I shouldn't have said I was going to run away from home. You really had him shaken up. He was worried about you. I know. I'm sorry. You didn't have to stay with me all night. Of course I did. Besides, it was fun. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You wanted to marry me? Shulk, I can't believe you. Okay, I might have said some stuff about wanting to be your bride. But you promised you'd forget about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fiora. I couldn't resist. I mean, if I'm honest, I quite like the idea of you being my bride. Shulk, don't get any funny ideas in your head. I was just a kid. I barely even knew what a bride was. He still remembers. Oh, Shulk. You wanted to go fishing! Um, did I? I guess I might have said that, but I'm talking about something else. No, you definitely said you wanted us to all go fishing. So we went the next day. You, me, and Ryan. You caught the biggest fish. I'll never forget the size of it. Oh uh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, it was fun. We had a great time, didn't we? Shulk, you've really forgotten all about it. I just hope you remember one day. And that was all the unique dialogue for that heart to heart. Again, I'm gonna try to get in the habit of any time we have a heart to heart, I'm gonna show off every piece of dialogue because it's really fun. But of course, gotta make sure I save my progress whenever we get the best results. Now, one thing I do want to do technically don't need to get in this fight. In fact, I wouldn't even say this fight is worth it. However, I gotta show off how the QTEs work. So yeah, at the beginning of every fight now, we will have that quick time event. Depending on how well you do with that QTE, we'll determine how much tension you start the fight with. Tension is very important because tension actually affects your accuracy. The better your tension, the more accurate your attacks will be. The lower your tension, the more you have a chance of missing attacks. Tension also does a number of things, and we'll go into that a little bit more as time goes on. This is also the part of the Let's Play in which I state I am not an expert in Xenoblade Chronicles. So if there is uh, combat information that I get wrong, please correct me in the comments. Because while I played this game a bajillion times, I am no expert. Rhine? Rhine? What are you doing? Sh Shulk! Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just... No! 
What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died! You're not hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favour, but you weren't here. And I saw the Monado and... I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? We have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch it. Didn't know it would do that. Sorry. But is it true... the Monado really can't cut people? The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's... a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, s sorry. Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you! So, of course I want to get my revenge! Your blame, it did not cut deep enough. No! What on Bionis happened there? Ryan, Fiora. Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped, and then... Time had stopped. So... Was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Is it another Monado thing? Who knows? Anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dunban really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Oh, yeah, uh, old Square Tash has gone and put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? Punishment? The Colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. And that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Whoa, nasty. Yeah, and now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders? That's the one. They're used to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah, knew you would. Hold on. The Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate, not like you, Ryan. What are you on about? I'll be fine. 
I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. <laughs> she don't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it. The boys are back! Capture Hearts can now be leveled up. We can now learn skills, even though we've technically been learning skills all the way up until now. Anyways, now that we're in the lab, hey, didn't Desiree need us to repair a watch? Bad news about Desiree's watch. It's worse than I thought. I haven't got the right parts. I need three blue chains. Hell yeah, I've already got one of them, dude. Let's go. Anyways, let's look at those arts. Because Shulk technically learned a new art a while ago. He learned slit edge. Attack from the side will reduce physical defense. If you're noticing a thing, oh shoot! I don't know why I tried censoring myself there. I don't censor myself on my own channel. Shulk also learned Stream Edge, another break art. Stream Edge, it's a good one. It's a really good art. I really like it. Grind. Ooh, you also learned two new arts. You learned Rage, an aura that lowers, phys lowers physical damage. Talent gauge refills over time, and Aura Burst. Available when an aura is active. Attack reduces enemy strength. It also does physical damage. Really good arts overall. Really happy with this. Skill trees are a thing that I want to go over. For fighting in, well, fights, you will be able to learn new skills. You won't be able to do anything with them just yet, but we have various skill branches. And each one... Overall, improve something for our characters. So we have improved ether, block rate, and agility. Gonna be honest, I'm gonna go for that agility. I'm just gonna let you know right now, a really good early game strat is fo focusing on agility. Agility is actually a really good early game strat because agility affects your ability to get hit. The higher your agility, the less likely you are to get hit by attacks. Huh? Have you forgotten anything? Jeffrey Cave is dangerous, right? You have to be prepared. Oh, we'll be prepared, Fiora. Prepare to accept more quests! I actually don't even know if we can accept this quest. Probably, because one thing I did want to mention. Ryan actually will allow us to accept more quests because he has some dialogue. But you're... I know that unique monster's name! I know the unique monster's name! Actually, I want to make sure... Sonia, no, you know. There's a couple quests that I want to make sure I accept. All right. Now that we've got Ryan in the party, I actually want to go around and accept a few more quests because some of the ones that I skipped require Ryan to be in the party. And actually, you know what? Ryan, we'll give you some time to shine. Hey there, youngin. Get a lend an ear to the oldest person in Colony 9. Amolius. The same old problem. You know what I'm on about. My back's playing up again. I suppose you know what I need. Bring me some medicinal brog oil. That stuff works a treat on my old back. You look fitter than anyone, Gramps. You exercise every day, don't you? I just enjoy the pain and fake a smile like I'm hunky-dory. Please, help an old man get back on his feet, won't you? Thanks for that, youngin. It means a lot to this old-timer. You can get medicinal brog oil from the brogs around here. No sweat. We'll be done before you know it. Alright. And the next one... Should be over here. Aha! Nia Nia. Me? Me? Hmm. Nia Nia want a friend. Not been enough on in Colony, so Nia Nia has no friend to play with. What is it? You're looking down in the dumps. Is something bothering you? We can help you. Thank you, thank you. Here's a homes boy named Lucas. You're near and want to be friends with him. Can't you make friends yourself? No, near and near are too scared to. I'm trying to encourage you, kid. 
Never mind. Guess we can help. Near and near, I wrote a letter, but too afraid to give it to himself. Give it to him and myself. Please, can you take care for me? Near and near, I'm waiting for you. No, sir. Don't before you know it. And don't read letter. I actually don't even know if we can read the letter. Also, hey, look, heart to heart. Can't do it. That's a reoccurring thing. And actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm just gonna complete this quest now. What do you want? A letter? From who? Nira Nira? I'll read it now. Tell Nira Nira I want to be friends with him. I've always wanted an op on friend. This should be really fun. And why not? We'll complete this quest. Me? Lucas, read Near and Dearest letter? Lucas, such a nice boy to agree to be Near and Dearest friend. Well, that's that. Thank you. Near and Dearest, go play now. And that's done. Oh, we actually got a weapon for Ryan. Hell yeah, dude. And... Oh. Looks like the uh, second part of that quest is not available yet, which is good because I wouldn't accept it because it requires a character we don't have. Oh, wait. Oh, I just now noticed you guys are all here now. Near and near good friend. What's your near and near do today? I wonder if we actually talk to all of you, does it? He hasn't got a mom and dad, so he's a bit like me. Hi. I wonder what new game I can come up with today. There ain't no one better at making new games than me. Just so you know, there's been some weird stuff going on lately. Huh, so we got new dialogue, but it didn't change anything in the infinity chart. Interesting. Alright, last thing that I want to do is I want to fast travel to the main entrance of Colony 9. As we need to head over to the Magmail Ruins in order to continue our progress through the story. However, I think we're going to do that next time. We're going to try to take care of quests along the way. Actually, what level are we? Level 6? Yeah. We'll try to take care of any quest-related stuff we can do on our way there. But that's going to be next time. Thank you all so much for watching. And next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we make our way to the Magmail Ruins inside of Tefra Cave. And until then, I will see you all later. Goodbye! Allez,